Here's a quick video I made of the truck bed slide I just finished. There's a ton of these videos on YouTube on this process, so I'm not reinventing the wheel by any means. I added a couple little modifications, but otherwise, again, there's tons of content on this process. So I use YouTube uh, for tons of ideas and clarification on projects I'm doing, and I figured I'd just get back. Just a different take on my process uh, for this project, and here you go. For this project, I used two four by eight, three quarter inch sheets of plywood uh, cut to fit uh, this bed. It's a Ford F-150 2014. Uh, it's a five and a half foot uh, long bed uh, by four foot in between the wheel wells. So I cut it with a little bit of margin for error on all sides, uh, but that's easy to figure out. The other item I used as suggested by many videos are these one inch roller ball bearings. Uh, you can find them at Harbor Freight. These are mounted onto the uh, baseboard that goes into the floor and the other piece of plywood goes on top and that's how it gets its roll. I put a coat of paint on the uh, top surfaces of both pieces of plywood. Uh, just some paint I had laying around, some exterior paint. It's underneath a shell topper so I don't expect it to be hit with a bunch of elements but a coat of paint can't hurt. Uh, then I attached the two six foot one by threes and the two six foot one by twos uh, to create a side channel. That channel will just keep the top piece of plywood uh, staying in place as it slides in and out. One of the different things I added was the uh, pull mechanism at the end of the uh, slide. I used these kayak handles. Uh, I've used a different brand before for some different projects, uh, but these handles work really well. Uh, they're nice and flexible and loose and super strong. Um, so that's something I used uh, that was a little bit different. All right, so here's a look at the little test load just to see how everything works. And there's probably about 150 to 200 pounds worth of gear on here. And uh, that's just the contents here. And then a side video just to show how easy it is to pull in and out. I'm definitely happy with the slide so far. I spent about 150 bucks. I had a couple of things on hand already, the paint and the hardware, the screws and such. Uh, but for just the lumber and the straps, and the bearings. I was around $150. I'm super stoked with the outcome of the build so far. We'll see how she holds up, but I think she's ready to go. Go build one.